Cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so after I just unloaded all these questions that I think, mm -hmm. man, I, I know for a fact those who are listening could gain a lot from your experience. Is there mm -hmm. a single question that you have that you'd like to flip the script on myself? And since, because usually in the coaching dynamic with a player, it's like, you know, pretty much we're mm -hmm. the ones usually always giving a lot of information. I mean, obviously there are times where there are dialogue, but um, yeah. usually it's, uh, you know, buttoned up, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. is there a question after all these years uh, that you have that mm -hmm. I could answer for you? I would say, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to word this right, <laughs> but... Um, I mean, you got honors, so I hope you can word it properly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> how do you, do you navigate each player individually and how they receive information? Because I feel like each player receives information differently. And like as a player, you, you, you find that out with your peers. You're like, okay, mm -hmm. I can't yell at you because you're going to start not wanting to play soccer now. But I feel like as a coach, it's different because you're trying to give them instructions and you are the one that's subbing in and out. So I was going to say, how, how do you navigate each player individually? I would say the biggest lesson that I learned too late, and I wish I would have learned it earlier, is to not compare player to player. Mm. Uh, when I first started coaching, I would ask myself, why does Coco work so much harder than Mike? Mm -hmm. So then I would get tougher on Mike mm -hmm. versus telling myself Coco is Coco and Mike's Mike. So one thing I do with the teams that I coach is I explain to them that I will never compare you to somebody else and neither do I want you to. I want you to yeah. compare yourself to yourself. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, I think you take down the guard because everyone, mm -hmm. we're all human. We just want to be liked. We want to be included. We want to, you know, be a part of something together. And when you start pinning people against each other and isolating people, it's like just chaos. So yeah, um, I think looking at someone for their strengths uh, is a very easy way and, and also what they're not naturally good at. So for example, like spine players versus like wing players and not putting a wing player in a spine position or putting a spine player in a wing position and asking yourself, why aren't they able to do certain things? And it's like, because they physically can't. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think over time and being around uh, high level coaches and environments, you kind of learn to distinguish between finding what individual players are good at and then mm -hmm. pushing those players. Like, for example, I have a nine year old player right now we were in league cup uh for the springtime and it was like a game where we needed to win and this in the particular player both his parents played like over in like england so like mm -hmm. his culture is different than some other people's cultures like soccer is ingrained in this young mm -hmm. boy's mind and he's got a wicked left foot coco i mean it's unbelievable mm -hmm. um but it was like halftime and it was in San Bernardino. You've been there before, super hot. They weren't resting between games, of course. They're nine year old yeah. kicking the ball around. And so as he's going back on, I said, this is the difference between good players and great players. And he just looked at me and was like, whoa. And like, what was so crazy, Coco, was after that game was all said and done, his mom heard what I said. And she said, mm -hmm. I actually told him that like during the week, like just after practice one time, so he's already oh, really? getting it from like his mom, right? Mm -hmm. And like in the game, which gave me kind of like goosebumps was that I said the exact same thing. But see, I couldn't say that or I wouldn't say that to somebody else in that team because that mm -hmm. would just crumble them. That would put them under yeah. so much pressure. It would be a negative response. Yeah. So I think it's, yeah, it's also um, along with looking at what they're good at and what they're not good at, it's what is their motivation? And so then you know how much you can push them. Um, yeah which takes time and uh yeah even even when i was around you um <clears throat> it's been like six years five years so i'm a whole different coach yeah. than i was back then and i wish honestly i wish i was now back then uh so that way could have mm. added more to like your yeah your fuel of fire so but um yeah it's it's not easy i think some people look at it as it's like oh 
how how lucky he he or she can coach it's like well depending on where you're coaching how you're coaching what the goals are it's it's difficult um it's that was hard. a good question that was a good question um did you have a follow-up question or is that good that was <laughs> that, that was a good question 